Goodbye, Joe, you gotta go, me or my You gotta go pull the P-Roll down the bayou My Yvonne, the sweetest one, me or my Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bayou Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out a Hank Williams classic down on the Bayou Jambalaya. I think it's pronounced. Not exactly sure, but I gather it's some kind of seafood dish. Going to have to check that out next time I'm down south in America. Um, assuming it is down south, actually. I probably need to check that out. I'm sure someone will enlighten me in the comments. But anyway, back to this guitar video part. Uh, there's lots of different versions of this song. So the original Hank Williams one appears to be G chord and C chord for the whole song. There's quite a few that use A chord and D chord. And the Carpenters one, I think, is G to D chord. So there's lots of different versions here. We're going to stick with doing the C chord to the G chord one today, but I'll talk a little bit more about the other options after we've gone through a bit more of the song. The chord progression is eight bars long. It starts with two bars of C, then four bars of G, and then another two bars of C at the end. So we do end up having kind of four bars of C in a row, but it's definitely better to think of the chord progression as C, C, G, 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 and C, C at the end. So let's just go through, look at it real basic with one strum per bar. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, and now to the G chord. G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and another two bars. One, two, back to C chord. One, two, three, four. Let's put the words in. Goodbye, Joe, you've got to go. Me, oh, G, oh. You gotta go pull the P rope down the C chord. My Yvonne, the sweetest one. Me, oh, G chord. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the C chord. And that is pretty much it for the whole song. It's just that chord sequence, but of course, keeping the strumming that simple doesn't sound so much like the original recording. So let's talk about some of the options there. Now, probably the, the best next step up for a beginner would be doing two strums to bar to the bar. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You'd notice that I'm moving my hands still one, two, three, four, even if I'm only strumming on beats one and three. And that will already give it a little bit of dynamic difference if you do somewhere you just strum once per bar, somewhere you strum twice per bar. But the real kind of country thing that I think is worth maybe having a bit of a start on, not for a real beginner, but like later beginner stages, is being able to pick out the bass note of a chord on beats one and three. So if, to do that, we'd pick the, on the C chord, we'd pick the fifth string. Now, if you've been playing your C chord very properly, you should be using the tip of your third finger there to mute the thicker string. So if you accidentally hit the thicker string, it shouldn't ring out. You just get a little bit of a click. So you'd have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You want to start with just that, playing the bass note, then the B chord. They're all down kind of motions. So the down pick is still a down feeling. One, two, three, four. When we go to the G chord, now, I should probably mention as well the different G chords. If I've got C to G, I'll nearly always use just my third and fourth finger and mute the fifth string. I don't want to hear that note much anyway in that particular chord. So you can use third and fourth fingers, but if you feel more comfortable doing fingers one, two, and three, you know, doing that change, I mean, the thing is that change is a, it's quite an awkward one. It even feels weird for me, especially because I, I would always just do that, which is a lot simpler. But if you're used to doing that, or you're deliberately trying to work on your chord changes, which is not a bad thing to be doing, to practice going C to G like that, then you could do that. You could use just fingers three and four. Uh, sorry, fingers two and three. Three and four would be the, the easiest one. I would, would be the one that I'd recommend. Uh, but whichever way you're playing the G chord, you want to be playing the bass note now on the thicker string, then the chord. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, Joe, you gotta go, me on my own. You gotta go, 
Pull the P-Roll down the bayou. Da -da -da. You can see straight away it's got a lot more of the feeling. I'll do it a little bit slower, but again, if you're learning this thing, that kind of technique, you want to be doing it nice and slow to start off with. If you want to take it to the next level, where it starts to get a little bit more like the record, the trick thing, the cool thing, is alternating the bass, particularly on the C chord, where you'd play a C bass note, then the strum, but on beat three, you'd move your third finger over and play the third fret of the thickest string. So actually, officially, the chord is called C slash G. You don't have to worry about that technical stuff too much. Just think, move the finger over. Jambalaya, crawfish pry, and fillet gumbo. Now for the G chord, you'd play the thicker string, then the fourth string. I'm gonna see my cherry Pick guitar, fill fruit jar, and be gay you. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bayou. <laughs> As you can guess, I'm not a country singer, hey? Obviously, the accuracy for this kind of thing is important, but if you're a beginner, just be happy to get close, particularly with the C chord. If it, as long as you're covering that thicker string, if you get a little bit of a click hitting the thicker string sometimes, or on the D chord, it, it, it doesn't really matter. If you've got a G chord, where you've got your second finger down. You can do that as well. So you could have fifth string or fourth string. If you want to get real clever, that's quite nice, but it requires a little bit more accuracy. Where you hit the open A and then hammer the second finger down. You can do, there's all sorts of little country twiddles you can get into if you get into this stylistically. This is supposed to be a beginner's lesson, so I don't want to go too far into that kind of thing with you now. So just to talk quickly about the other keys as well, if you're doing D to A, you're going to start on the D chord. Goodbye Joe, you got to go, me oh my oh. You got to go, pull the P down the bio. Again, you can alternate the bass if you want to in fact it's a bit easier if you're using d and a chord okay that would be d to a if you're doing g to d okay and, uh, joe you gotta go me oh my oh you gotta go pull the p roll down the bio Okay, so it's exactly the same idea just with those two chords, the same sequence of two chords, two bars on one chord, four chords on the other chord, and back to two bars again, and that cycle just repeats for the whole song. Um, it's a really, really great song to learn new things and try out these, particularly the bass note thing. It's a good introduction to country sort of stuff. Great singer along one. There's loads of words in the original one. I'm just like, I'm not exactly sure what a gumbo is. I definitely don't know what a jambalaya is. There's, there's another verse here where I'm just like, in fact, I'm not even sure I know what a pierogi is. I know a pierogi, which is a type of Polish food, but I'm not sure about a pierog. I'm going to have to do a little bit of looking up here. What's a bayou? Bayou's got to be a stream, right? Okay, I'm getting distracted. Maybe somebody could give me a translation of the lyrics in this song in the comments. That would be really cool. Uh, anyway, remember there are hundreds of well-structured lessons for beginners over on the website. Loads and loads of songs. You can choose the songs by the chords that you know or where you're at on the beginner's course, all of that sort of stuff. It's lots of fun. There'll be a link in the description. Do go check it out. If you want to play along with this one, it's also available in my beginner song course app. So you might want to check that out as well. There'll be a link for that in the description too. I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You all take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.